Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to do a quick test if we can get red light therapy from the sun. Uh, it's a November 7th morning in Connecticut, and uh, let's take a measurement with our Hopo Color aiming it at the sun. And we do get, we get 85 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Not sure if you'll be able to see that focus in. But you see, we get the full spectrum. We get visible uh, plus red and near infrared. So, but you know, that's a good amount of intensity. The full spectrum could have its own benefits. Now we'll do something fun. We'll we'll put our blue blocking glasses, at the red ones. That'll block all the visible light up to red and near infrared. So we can get kind of a filtered view of what red and near infrared comes from the sun. So there we go, we got a nice measurement here. So you see we got 39 milliwatts per centimeter squared, that's very significant. That's pretty much as much as a, a decent panel will give, even though a lot of panels are trying to go much higher, we don't want to go much higher than the intensity of the sun. There we go, that's good focus. So we get 39 milliwatts per centimeter squared, we filtered out all the visible light, so we're just seeing red and near infrared. So it's 39 milliwatts per centimeter squared. That's plenty for red light therapy, especially, you know, non-contact use, it's plenty of intensity. And, you know, it should be similar to what you get from most red light therapy panels, because if they go much higher than the intensity of sunlight, then obviously our skin can't really handle it and it could overheat. So hopefully this test helps.